They certainly do, Eric. We've had a, just down to the left of us here, we've got about 200 Tigers supporters that have come up on buses. It's a tribute to them and a tribute to how well the Belmain Tigers are going that their supporters are actually travelling. Into the top ten, the Tigers with last week's win over the Illawarra Steelers. They're in ninth place as we move now into the 15th round of a 24-round competition. And here come the Tigers, led out this evening by Mark Stimson, their captain, Paul Sirinan, not playing this evening. Shannon Nevin is at the back. The wings, Laloa Milford, who's the leading try scorer this year for the Tigers. Greg Donaghy on the other wing. Kennedy and Weber in the centres. Gillette and Dunley, the halves. Walker centre and Chris McPherson, who comes into the front row to replace Paul Sirinan. And it's Stimson, O'Neill and Ben Duckworth who make up the Balmain Tigers back row. Coached, of course, by Wayne Pierce. This is a man to look out for this evening, as I mentioned. He leads the try scoring, and he scores two hat-tricks last weekend against the Illawarra Steelers and also against the Penrith Panthers. Here comes the coast. Oh, and led out by their captain courageous, Jamie Goddard, backing up from last night's State of Origin contest at the Sydney Football Stadium. Preston Campbell's at the back, Hudson and Russell at the wings, Mackay and Nickel in the centres, O'Reilly and Teban the halves, Parsons Goddard and Clinton O'Brien the front row, and Durham... Sattler and Conley make up the Gold Coast Chargers back row. Look at that, 405 tackles in 13 games. If you want to work it out, it's more than 31 tackles a game, and that leads the competition. And then you can add to that about the 30 or so he made last night on New South Wales. Yeah, certainly, look, right he, he's been an inspiration for the Chargers, not only this year, but uh, also last night for Queensland. It's going to be a very good contest between him and Darren Sander. Not unsimilar in their both their styles. Very tough, love to run, and have very good defence. Look for that man tonight as well, Michael Gillette. Going, he's been one of the key players for the Balmain Tigers this year. And if they are to get a win away this evening, they will have Make sure you stay on. to look to Michael Gillette and uh, his halfback, Shane Dunley, this evening. Moxing Jadwat is our referee for this evening's contest. And it looks like the Gold Coast captain, Graham Mackay, will get us underway. The Coast playing from right to left. And they kick a goal. It's the first kick of the game. And a straight on the attack. Held one, roll away, Come the Balmain Tigers. Two Goddard involved already in the action. He must be feeling sore after last night's contest. What a hit! <laughs> Front on from Steve Parsons. Tigers again, this time through Shane Walker. Picks up some ground through the middle of the field. Last tackle. I'll swing it to the left for Dunley to go to the left foot. And he'll find touch around about 25 metres away from the Gold Coast line. A very good start there from the Tigers. It's exactly what they needed. Control the ball, go forward, get a good kick on the end of it. They've done that. And a great hit there by, I think it was Steve Parsons. That's the sort of stuff that uh, Coach Phil Economides will want from his men up front this, this evening. Well, Chris, you're playing this side, outside foot. Those Hang are the on. sort of bone-rattling tackles that can inspire teams. Uh, come on, let him get his head in, fellas. Let him get his head in. Come on, head. come on. Come on. Hit in a few scrums over the years, just can't get his head into this one as the speed is made by Teven. And the coast will try and come away through Jason Hudson, who'll play it. This is Conley. One of four Scots who play for the Gold Coast. Zara Thorburn Sattler and Scott Conley. As we mentioned, near perfect conditions for rugby league, but just to check out the conditions we now go sideline in Chris Bombalos. Thanks fellas, yeah it is uh, nice and cool down here, no breeze so uh, we've got no excuses for the wind favouring anybody. I know you two are tipping the Tigers, I'm tipping an upset here tonight I think the Gold Coast will respond I think uh, Jamie Goddard will inspire them to a win and uh, you know they'll take over from that Queensland uh, victory last night. Spoken like a true maroon. Are they giving Lower Milford, absolutely no room to move on that far side. And they're straight up in the face of the Tigers in defence as well. I'm not quite sure how good that uh, the 10 is being officiated on at the moment. They're certainly up very, very quickly. This time it's O'Neill with a touch. 35 metres out from his own line, he'll play it. And again, good ground made through the middle by Ben Duckworth. Last tackle, and so we'll go to the boot and kick it over the head of Shane Russell, who's forced to go back. 
Also back there is Campbell in the headgear. Just some of the referee, Eric's just got to watch on you. You've, you've tipped it already. He's not keeping them back. He's letting them leave a little early. i just like to see him keep them that 10 metres all the way through. Let's have this game nice and open. With the short ball. Picking up the runners. And they're about two or three or four metres offside in defence, the Tigers at the moment. As you can see there, they were all moving very, very early in the play, the ball. Last tackle now for the coast. Teven will go to the air, bounces it in front of Shannon Nevin, but he's in good position to run it right back at the charges. He ran out of support and he'll take the tackle. Up towards the 30 metre line, they come. This is Donahue. They'll work the blind and make good ground as well. Playing it as Darren Centre. Cut out play. This is Gillette. Tackled strongly over the top by Tony Durham. Long cut out pass. Picks up the replacement prop, McPherson. In there for his captain, Paul Sirenen. And he's put on his back just inside Gold Coast Territory. Gillette. But the kick wasn't a good one. Straight down the throat of Jason Hudson. Yeah, certainly. They, they'll be looking for better kicks than that. They must make sure that they finish with positive notes with those kicks. You just can't kick it down to the wingers on the full. You've got to be a bit more uh, clinical in your execution. They put it deep over the top of them. They'll use some variety, put some little kicks in. But you just can't be kicking like that straight down their throats. Well, referee Jadwat has penalised Balmain here. I think he's just saying that uh, Lala Milford... Was it? Or no, Bubba Kennedy. That was a good call. Darren, just calm down. Hey, no, just calm down. We'll make the decisions you play no, the football. Like all right. Oh, uh, doesn't need any help at all from Darren Centre. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised if a referee did. Yeah, exactly right. But look, just something we've tipped on all, already. Just get them back there 10 metres. They are getting up too early. Straight on goes Clinton O'Brien up over the 40 metre line. And here's Parsons with his turn with the football. We'll see how well these two props work off each other. They're up to the 30 metre line. To the left is Teven. That's the way they come. Here's O'Reilly. Shows the ball inside. Decides to take on the defence. But can't get through the tackle of Gillette and also Dunley. And he's just knocked on in the play the ball. That's a mistake. Michael, you're looking for me on the 10. See here, two men in the tackle. Right. And he's just lost it cold. Yeah, certainly. Ben, it's a shame for the Chargers because they, you know, they had good field position there with another three tackles to go, but uh, unfortunately, ball control has uh, cost them dearly. In from the right wing is Donahue. He's got a couple of tries already this year, the 24-year-old. This is Bubba Kennedy. One of the prolific three-quarters for the Belmain Tigers, but none is more prolific... And the man who's just gone into touch due to some great Gold Coast defence. A mistake from Laloa Milford. It was a bad option, wasn't it, going down that short side? You could see uh, from the play of the ball there was only one or two yards. If he had got five or six yards, that's all he was going to get. But the utmost importance has got to be the ball control. Get back to the centre of the uh, field there. But to run out on the second tackle, it's just, not, it's just not good enough at this level. Good attacking options here for the Gold Coast. Four passes picked up nicely by O'Reilly. Graham Mackay strong on the charge. Up over the 40-metre line he goes. O'Reilly picks up his prop O'Brien, and O'Brien's put down on the 30-metre line. Goddard. Parsons takes a couple of Tigers with him to the ground, about 22 metres away from the Belmain line. Slow to his feet. Teven, O'Reilly. This is Conley. They've got numbers. Mackay's out there, shows the ball, goes himself, dragged down a metre out. Have they bombed a try? Teven, cut out pass, picks up O'Reilly. By going backwards. They've lost 15 metres on the play. Last tackle now for the Gold Coast. The kick through is taken brilliantly. And it'll be Dunley to play at 15 metres out from his own line. They butchered a try then, Phil. Yeah, certainly did. Mackay had uh, Russell on his outside unmarked there. But uh, good lead-up work there by... 
the number six Tom O'Reilly that's twice tonight that he showed the ball this one he decided to pass it on he looks like he's got some skill this young fella but on the back of that they put a, the execution of the kick wasn't good enough had to get it in the end goal Eric centre that's a back for Donaghy the pass goes on for Stimson they keep the ball alive the Tigers here comes Gillette stepping through the gap dragged down from behind by Tony Durham He'll play it on the halfway line. Dunley will go to the air on the last. Going back for it is Hudson. And he'll leave it for Preston Campbell. He's got a bit of work to do. Beats one. Beats another. And can't get through the third, but in the meantime, he's picked up 20 metres. Fantastic run there by Preston. Very elusive, very good on his feet. And that's what they'll be looking for him from tonight to bring that ball back. A great return of the football from the young fullback. Goddard for Parsons. He'll be doing this all night. Steve Parsons. His tenth game of the year. He's a big man for a front rower. Certainly is. That's his job. Go forward for him. Set the platform. And that was lost in the tackle. Good defence there from Shannon Nevin, I think it was. No, it wasn't. It was over the top. Came Bubba Kennedy. Yeah, just trying to force the pass there. No need for it. No coast with a fair amount of the football in this opening 10 minutes or so. Yeah, they certainly have. They just haven't capitalised on it, actually. They've had a good opportunity just early on in the set of six, but a poor execution on the kick and a, and a bad option by Graham, Graham Mackay by not electing not to pass the ball. But they're looking good early, the coast. Gillette with the pass behind for Nevin. Can't get through the tackle of Mackay, though. Russell also involved. Stepping and almost getting through was Jason Webber. It's out now. There's a line up to the left as Dunley puts on the step, but met front on by Goddard and also Scott Conley. They swing it to the left. Fourth tackle. Playing it was Hudson Smith. This is O'Neill. Last tackle. What are their options? They go to the blind side through Dunley, and it's out on... It's, no, it was Darren Centre, and it's gone out on the full. Yeah, there was no communication there. There was no halves call, and the ball centre came down the side. All of a sudden, another poor execution. That's what they That's what they don't need. They need to be finished on high notes with these kicks. They're just giving field position away to the coast. You're going to make a mistake. That's the way you make up for it. Mark Stimson it was. Good front on defence. This is O'Brien, can't free the arms. Teven, the switch of play, comes back to the open side. No way through there, though. Mark, get him back. Wait, no, Jerry, you're off. Teven, the inside ball for Mackay, put down on the 40-metre line. They're in a bunch at the moment, the Chargers. Offloading for Goddard. He's put down 35 metres out. They've picked up about 10 metres on the play. Even will go to the air under pressure from centre. Going back and taking it nicely, though, is Milford. And you don't want to give him too much space, and that's why. <laughs> Elusive, as always, as Tom O'Reilly takes a break. Good hit-ups from the Tigers early in the match. 11 and a half minutes gone. Still no score here at Carrara. <laughs> Hudson Smith. <laughs> Tia Leovar out there as well in the headgear. Gillette. 